Thank you for watching the Black Gay History Channel. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. Billy Wright was a soul and blues singer who gained notoriety in the early 1950s for his R&B radio hits, Blues For My Baby, You Satisfy, and Hey Little Girl. Before becoming a radio star, Billy Wright gained his performance background from singing in gospel choirs, as well as performing as a female impersonator in nightclubs. Called the Prince of Blues throughout the 1950s, Billy Wright became a huge style and musical influence on the rock and roll legend Little Richard, inspiring the musicians' big hairstyles and flashy fashion. Richard Wayne Pennyman, aka Little Richard, was one of the most popular entertainers of the 1950s and will go on to earn the title of the godfather of rock and roll for his pioneering and popularizing the genre. Using powerful, high-pitched vocals and signature ad-libs, Little Richard's big personality captured the hearts of America. His most iconic and popular song, Tutti Frutti, was rewritten to take out the X-rated lyrics celebrating gay sex. In the media, Little Richard was surprisingly very open and public about his struggle to accept his sexuality that conflicted with his religious beliefs. Escarita, born Escu Reader Jr., was a professional singer and pianist who worked with and influenced the early rock and roll stars of the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. Little Richard credited Reader with teaching him to play the piano, and when Richard began to gain success performing professionally, Reader pursued his own career in entertainment and took the stage name Escarita. Both Little Richard and Escarita hinted that there may have been a romantic as well as professional connection in their relationship. Releasing several singles throughout his career like Rock in the Joint and Hey Miss Lucy, Escarita would go on to collaborate with other musical legends like Jimi Hendrix and Dr. John. 